Hi, hello, thank you so much for clicking on this video. Whether you are a new or a returning subscriber, my name is Alexis Angelina and I'm so happy that you're here. Today's vlog is gonna be a bit different. It's going to be an accumulation of a lot of days. Right now when I'm filming this, it's 9 p.m. Tuesday, January. 16th but i wanted to do a reading vlog i not necessarily want to take reading serious this year i just don't like putting pressure and setting goals like new year's goals my goals are very how you say soft and definitely attainable because i am a perfectionist and if i set extreme goals then i will be hard on myself and i don't like that i don't think anyone likes that i am the oldest of an immigrant household so and a girl at that. So take that information, do what you must with it, with just knowing that I'm very hard on myself. I think I wanna take reading a little bit more serious and I think vlogging my journey, it would make it more fun for me. When I was a kid, I was definitely a big time bookworm. I just wanted to do this bookish vlog. There will be no format really. I think I will just take you along my days as I read. Mace, what do you have? Right now, I'm reading Along for the Ride by Sarah Dessen and I love Sarah Dessen. A lot of people might say that her books might be drawn out, but I love the detail. I love every detail, every conversation. I want to feel like I'm there. I've never read this book before, but I've been a big time Sarah Dessen fan for a while and I've had this in my library for a long time and I'm like about halfway done. One thing about this um, book vlog, I will give out minor spoilers. I don't think I'll give away anything crazy, but I just want to try to lure you in to reading this. But basically, the main character, her name is Auden, and she is a child of divorce. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. Her parents are split and she primarily lives with her mom but decided to spend the summer at her dad's house. And he lives in a beachy town. And she also struggles with insomnia. But not only is she like living with her dad for the summer, but he kind of remarried and she doesn't have a really good relationship with the stepmom and they have a baby together. Anyway, she meets a boy. You know where this goes. That's all I'm gonna say. Well, Jamis just hit his head on my desk. Are you okay, puppy? You're okay. But yes, he works at a bike shop and hence the book cover. So yeah, I highly recommend this book. Um, Auden is very like kind of sheltered. I'm devouring this book. I think I started it yesterday. So yes, again, this is very drawn out to some, but I think, I, I don't know, I purse, maybe I'm biased, but I really love the detail um and the conversation I, again i feel like i'm there i feel like i'm watching a movie and a series like it's really good um i'm also reading the hotel nantucket uh, my friend caitlin told me to read this and so i am listening to it and it's pretty good i'm only 19 percent done still early on and i don't know how long this vlog will be like day wise but i would love to bring you along and I hope you enjoy because this is new for me. to pick up some tacos. I got chorizo and potato. And I love this place so much um, because they pronounce my name in Spanish, which is technically my birth. Given names, proper pronunciation, they call me Alexis. They're like, here you go, Alexis. 
Here's your mobile order and I'm like, ouch. I am now at the Barnes and Noble parking lot. I'm like scoping out what other stores are around here, but I'm currently listening to the, the audiobook of the hotel, Nantucket. That book is messy. It's basically a hotel on an island that is haunted, but people are stuffing that under the rug. And there's a lot of gossip. It's very juicy, it's messy. If you like like reality TV, like a messy reality TV, you need to read or listen to the hotel at or the hotel Nantucket. Um, all the books that I've talked about, I will list um, in the description box. But yes, very good, juicy <laughs> read slash listen. Um, but yes, I'm gonna go ahead into Barnes and Noble and wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so I just got done at Barnes and Noble and it's so hard to cut. I have my tripod in my hand. It's so hard to content create and just saying that is so cringe. I know, I know. But I just tried to take like a picture of my bag in front of the sign, like the Barnes and Noble store sign and like a car drove by and I was like, oh my gosh, I don't want to like stand here and wait. Anyway, got We Were Dreamers. I love this book so much. I've already read it. I listened to the audiobook, which I recommend listening to because Simu, he reads it and there's just more emotion because he wrote it, he lived it, and basically this is his memoir and it's more so on the focus of his upbringing. It truly is an immigrant superhero origin story, like the cover says. I have a soft spot for immigrant stories and I'm like tearing up thinking about it, but I'm not gonna cry. Basically, I highly recommend whether you are into Marvel or not. I think that I think everyone should read this. It's very it's a very it's a really good book, okay? And he chokes up in some parts and it just like makes me sob. So, I really really like this book. Oh my gosh, and it comes with pictures. I'm not going to show you the pictures cuz I want you to go buy this. Um, go listen to it. But yes, I had to get it because I want to read it again someday and i want to support him and it was just a great story so i love 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 this and then i'm doing a small book club with my friend and we're gonna read this because we both love marvel um look out for the little guy by scott lang oh i love paul rudd so much literally paul rudd is like one of my top celebrity crushes i keep like looking around because i'm like paranoid that someone's gonna like i don't know my doors are locked i'm fine scott lang oh my gosh it has the author in the back. Scott Lang is a scientist and inventor with a master's degree in electrical engineering. He has been an ice cream scooper, a corporate whistleblower, <laughs> a consultant for a Pim Van Dyne Foundation, and an Avenger. He lives in San Francisco. That is so funny. This is so funny. So I can't, oh, I just realized that Ant-Man is on his shoulder. Okay, I can't wait to read this, but oh, a girl has Bagu. Love it. I'm excited about these. And okay, I'm gonna head home now because I have way many, I have so many errands to run today and I have a lot of like work I need to catch up on. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And I have a lot of video editing I need to do. I need to film too. Okay, I'm just gonna sh shut up. See you later. It is a couple days later. I am currently sitting in bed and I have this much left of Along for the Ride. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish it. I'm entering a 46 hour work week, I believe. So I just like wanna do nothing until I have to go to work tomorrow, you know? So to, cut, to start my long work week. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and finish this book. I literally only have like a chapter left and then I have to start on this one. I get to start on it. I don't have to. I get to um, look out for the little guy because I'm doing a book club with my friend Stacy, and we are both Marvel girls and so we have this as a book club. I also have this playing 
winter in New York City with vintage oldies playing in another room. Crackling fireplace and blizzard. So I'm gonna go ahead and break. crazy but I'm really comfortable so I don't want to move but I just finished the book and towards the end um there's like a letter from Sarah Dessen the author there's a letter from Sarah and she talks about why she loves to write about summer and where she was in her life when she I was like what the heck is that red thing it's just the tag of my plush that I'm sitting on laying on leaning on whatever why she likes summer so much and where she was in her life when she wrote this book and just like why she loves being an author and it's just it's really nice to see a perspective and it, it i don't know i like it a lot i like knowing things so yeah and then she also wrote a playlist for this book which i kind of want to create on spotify and then she explains why she chose that song so for example no one by alicia keys and she wrote again a song that will get you through a tough spot i love any song that says repeatedly that everything will be all right especially when you really need to hear it true period plus this song makes me think of my daughter and then in quotes she wrote you and me together through the days and the nights indeed like are you kidding me this book is so good i don't know a really good book and Apparently it is also a Netflix movie and I don't have Netflix, which really sucks, but maybe one day I will I can't even do a free trial like they don't even allow that anymore. I try trust me I try to do a free trial anyway highly recommend if you like young adult cutesy summary book time to start this book. I kind of want to put away the cover because I don't want to get it Will it mess up? I don't know taking a small break to eat some pho so I need to rip this bag open I got a vegetable pho that's my favorite my favorite kind of pho to get is veggie pho or really like tofu pho I just like I don't know I prefer it with a beef broth it is a little while later I just had a little tear fest I'm good I was just gushing um with a friend just friendships are so vital. I wore a face mask to work today. Um, so I might have like the lines on my face. But anyway, yeah, friends are so vital and community is so vital. And I just like wanted to vent that really quick. If you're someone who lacks community, I feel for you. I know exactly what that's like. I've lived through that. Oh my gosh, ew. I sound like Pitbull when he says... For anybody going through tough times believe me <laughs> i'm so sorry i'll collect myself but yes i definitely get it i moved to this state of texas without any family knowing it like i had nothing and no one pretty much i hope that my videos at least somewhat bring a sense of community and i hope that i can oh there's a carpooling in I hope that I can help foster that in any way. But right now, I am at a parking lot to go to a deli. I finished... I think the last time I picked up the camera was when I finished Along for the Ride. And the next book that I have is Watch Out for the Little Guy. Or Look Out for the Little Guy by Scott Lang. Um, I took off the paper cover. I'm going to go in the cafe. Or the deli, rather. Read that and... Um, there's a bookstore next door, so I'm hoping to find a bookmark, another bookmark. I need more bookmarks. I also want to start Where the Crawdads Sing, but I feel like that's way too many books for, a, like, one book vlog. I don't watch book vlogs, really. I've literally only seen a handful, so I don't really know what I'm doing. So this is honestly, like, my take on it, I guess. I really should watch more and get inspiration that way, but this is me the chaotic way, so... Yes, I'm gonna go ahead and go inside and I could really use like an egg salad sandwich. That sounds really good right now because they put dill in theirs and I love dill.
okay i just got done eating lunch while i was eating lunch i actually was able to finish the hotel nantucket and yeah i highly recommend it's a really good read i felt like i was working at that hotel i felt like i knew and was friends with like most if not all the staff gossip was hot the gossip did not fail in this book so i rated it i rated it a five out of five because of that the writing was so good but anyway i also went to the bookstore all i wanted was a new bookmark and i was scared that i was going to leave with a bunch of books but i didn't thankfully and here is my new bookmark it's a uh, frozen 2 elsa and it has a cute little bead and a tassel and it says in my element but i'm gonna go ahead and head home now get some rest because i need it very badly under like a um, street lamp but in a parking lot <laughs> I just got out of the Mean Girls movie it was so good I was in dire need of just me time I don't know if this lighting is like crummy it's also raining which is why my face looks like that it's kind of cool <laughs> but yes highly recommend Mean Girls I laughed I cried it was so good one of the employees gave me this little burn book and it, it was just so good I highly recommend I really need to do more movie dates alone because they're the best I used to do them all the time I'm gonna be honest, it's been a while since I've picked up the camera, but I've bought some books and I wanna show you. Taylor Swift, a little biography from Little Golden Books. Remarkably Bright Creatures. I also picked up Go As A River and this is the Barnes & Noble exclusive. A Curse For True Love, I'm sure you guys have heard of this. I'm currently on the wait list for the audiobook for the first book. I have the second one coming in the mail and I got the third one. This is also the Barnes & Noble exclusive cover. And lastly, Love Theoretically. Oh, and I also got a new bookmark. It's so cute, it's a little stitch. But I'm pretty behind on my book club book. So I'm gonna go ahead and read that. It's a few days later. I feel like I started every clip that way, but I need to tidy up the kitchen a little bit. The lighting is so bad if I face the other direction, so I'm filming this way for now to explain. I'm on the last leg of Look Out for a Little Guy, and then I'll be done with book club, and then we're on to the next book, which is gonna be exciting. I don't know if I should vlog that. Let me know if you think I should.
but yes i wish i had an aesthetic like area to read in but i like reading on the dining table for now um so i'm gonna go ahead and power through the last of the book club as i pop on like an ambiance video on youtube that's the vibe we are going with rainy day in the cabin peaceful piano and beautiful relaxing music calm fall music time to close out the you just burped. I don't know if you heard that. But time to close out my first ever reading vlog, bookish vlog. I don't know what I'm titling this. Yes. Okay. So I really enjoyed Look Out for the Little Guy. I'm opening an another order of books actually. So I'll do that with you guys. It was a really nice, fun, like light read. It's very much like a self-help type of book. So if you don't like those, you might not like this. If you're a marvel fan i feel like if you're a marvel fan you need to read it but if you don't like self-help books it's truly just like a silly little scott lang book like it's exactly what you expected it to be but yes that is my review on that book and this is going to be the next book club book so yeah i got this book and i also picked up iron flame i got it off of target because it's 30% off they were doing buy one get one 50% off books plus red card so yeah i'm excited to read these but yes this is the next book club book that my friend and i are gonna read and i bought the second one because just it recently came out kinda so yeah i'm excited these are such a good size too and i love the foil anyway i'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog let me know what you think of this vlog do you want to see more of these kinds of videos let me know in the comments below have you read any of the books that i've mentioned if so please give a spoiler free review um but yeah i hope you guys have a great rest of your monday or whenever you're watching this and i will catch you in the next one bye